did to Sion and Og, the two kings of the Ammonites, Amorites, east of the Jordan, whom you completely destroyed. When we heard of it, our hearts melted and everyone, everyone's courage failed because of you. For the Lord your God is God in heaven above and on the earth below. Now then, please swear to me by the Lord that you will show kindness to my family because I have shown kindness to you. Give me a sure sign that you will spare the lives of my father and mother, my brothers and sisters, and all who belong to them, and that you will save us from death. Our lives for your lives, the men assured her. If you don't tell what we are doing, we will treat you kindly and faithfully when the Lord gives us the land. So she let them down by a rope through the window, for the house she lived in was part of the city wall. Now she had said to them, go to the hills so that the pursuers will not find you. Hide yourselves there three days until they return, and then go your way. The men said to her, this oath, this oath you made us swear will not be binding on us unless when we enter the land, you have tied this scarlet cord in the window through which you let down, let us down, and unless you have brought your father and mother, your brothers and all your family into your house. If anyone goes outside your house into the street, his blood will be on his own head. We will not be responsible. As for anyone who is in the house with you, his blood will be on our head if a hand is laid on him. But if you tell what we are doing, we will be released from the oath you made us swear. Agreed, she replied, let it be as you say. So she sent them away and they departed and she tied the scarlet cord in the window. And when they left, they went into the hills and stayed there three days until the pursuers had searched all along the road and returned without finding them. Then the two men started back. They went down out of the hills, forded the river, and came to Joshua, son of Nun, and told him everything that had happened to them. They said to Joshua, the Lord has surely given the whole land into our hands. All the people are melting in fear because of us. Lord, we thank you for your word. We, we thank you that every single time we open the Bible, we know that what we're reading is true. We know that what we're reading will save us. Will save anyone who listens. We praise you, O oh Lord, for those in this room that believe your word. That believe that what you say is true. And they trust in you. Praise you, Lord, for those that want to trust in your word. And we thank you in your name. Amen. So we, if you read the Bible, you know the Bible, uh, you know that Rahab is considered a hero Amen. in Scripture. Uh, the Scriptures, we're going to have one on here. First one, Mr. Roman, if you'll give it to me. First Scripture. Mr. Roman? Okay, uh, the first the first scripture is um, is from Matthew. He'll have it on there in a minute. There it is. Okay, so G we find here that Rahab is in the genealogy of King David and Jesus. So we find that Rahab married a man named. It sounds like the fish salmon but it's probably Salmon. She married this Jew. She was a Gentile. She was an outcast, but she married this Jew named Salmon. And Rahab and Salmon were the parents of a man named Boaz, a mighty, godly man. It says, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz, the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed, the father of King David. David was the father of Solomon, whose mother had been Uriah's wife. So what we, we want to see 
that Rahab ended up being the great grandmother of King David yes. and ultimately the ancestor of Jesus. Rahab was in the line, the royal line by which Jesus was born of the seed of David and who is the seed of David. So we see here what the Bible reveals to us that she's considered a hero or a heroine uh, that's a female hero, <laughs> but it sounds like a drug. <laughs> but so, so the Bible lets us see that God's perspective on Rahab is that she's a hero. Amen. Amen? Yes. And then we go to the next one, the next slide. It says in Hebrews, which we just read this past week, by faith the walls of Jericho fell after the people had marched around them for seven days. And we understand that Rahab was in the wall. Yes. She had a house in the wall. By faith, the prostitute Rahab, um, and yet we know that it could mean innkeeper also. We believe that she had an inn because the two spies went there to stay. And so by faith, the prostitute Rahab, because she welcomed the spies, was not killed with those who were disobedient. So here she's in this genealogy, and she's also in this faith chapter, yes. and it reveals that Rahab went to heaven. Amen. Yeah. That we know that Rahab made it to heaven. Amen. Amen. So we thank God uh, for what we learn about Rahab, right. that, that she is this hero person. Uh, according to scripture, according to the Bible. What is my next slide, Mr. Roman? Let's see. Okay, go back. Just hold it on the other one a moment. So what, what I want to actually show you today or help us see is that, that Rahab, uh, though the Bible calls, says that she's a hero, uh, basically... What she did was so simple and so obvious that you, you could say that she just added two plus two and got four. Right, right. That she didn't do something just really, really outstanding. Um, she just added two plus two and equal four. And um, how many know there's a lot of people don't even know how to add two plus two? And do you know that 2 plus 2 is the same as 2 times 2? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's really simple, and it's kind of uh, elementary school or even preschool. I mean, when do you learn 2 plus 2? Is that preschool? Is that 4 years, 3 years old, 4 years old? Okay. <laughs> so so uh, I want to show you, us to see together from the Scripture, that what Rahab did to become this hero is so elementary, is so obvious that anyone can do it. That it's not anything strange or difficult, you might say. And so I want to show you what the 2 plus 2 equals 4 is. So what we see is that in verse 8, of chapter 2, uh, she goes in to speak to, they're, they're on the roof, the spies are up on the roof. She went up and, the, and she said to them, I know that the Lord has given this land to you and that a great fear of you has fallen on us so that all who live in this country are melting in fear of you. So what she got was she had great fear of God. Yes. And the Bible says that everyone in the whole country did. Amen. Wow. Everyone in the whole country had great fear of God. How many understand to be a hero, you have to have fear of God. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. You can't get anywhere with God without fear of God. And so she feared God. Now she said, verse 10, We have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt. 
So that happened 40 years before. 40 years before Egypt being the nation right next to Israel, and when, when the Jews, God delivered them out of, of slavery in Egypt, they came up to the Red Sea, and it was, Pharaoh was following them on, with all of his army, all of his chariots, all of his horsemen, and it looked like they were going to be destroyed. But God split the Red Sea. God stopped the flow of the water from the source and the Israelites went through on dry ground. Yeah. An entire nation, 1 point something million people safely went across the Red Sea wow. on dry ground. Amen. And Pharaoh following with his army drowned because the water, the minute the last Israelite went across, the, the Red Sea, the wide river, whatever it was, went back. <laughs> whatever was stopping the flow, God's hand, uh, it started flowing again. And, uh, but Pharaoh went into it on dry ground, and then he and all of his people were drowned. All of his horsemen you don't think that word got out? You know, back in that day, they didn't have fake news. <laughs> Today, we have fake news. Back in that day, they just had word of mouth. And if it was something true, it got out. And so all these people that lived in the Israel today that we know uh, this as Israel, and then it was called Canaan. It wasn't occupied by, by the Jews. And so they had heard, and probably before she was ever born, I think she's about 20-some years old in this story, but she had heard all of her life about how the God of the Jews stopped the flow of the Red Sea. Yes. Before that, he judged Egypt with all these plagues. Before that, how many remember hearing all that? And so she, she's heard all of her life about this God that Pharaoh couldn't stop, that all the gods of Egypt weren't strong enough. All the power they had was seemingly nothing compared to the power of God. And so in addition to that, verse 10, we see that not that long ago from this time, there were two kings on the eastern side of the Jordan. And God's plan was for them to take this land and then to go across the Jordan and to take the rest of the land. Please give me the next slide. Please give me the next slide, please. Thank you. Okay, it says, okay, I want you to think back to Genesis that God prophesied, God said in the fourth generation, your descendants will come back here. Abraham lived in this land. Abraham lived in Canaan. And he told him four, which is 400 plus years. People lived longer then. How many know four generations is not 500 years now? So in the fourth generation, your descendants will come back here. For the sin of the Amorites has not yet reached its full measure. So the evil these people were doing in the land that was known as Canaan, wickedness, wickedness abounded. 500 years before, God looked at this and he knew he had to judge how many know God has to judge sin? Yes. How many understand yes. that, that God, first of all, is holy and he cannot dwell with sin. Number two, he's just and he has to punish sin. Right. Yes. If you don't agree, understand that, you're not at first, first grade yet. You've you got to understand who God is. Yeah. Yeah. 
And, and if you want to have first grade graduation, then you have to fear God. Amen. Amen. Yes. And, and so God's mercy was extended to these people almost 500 years. Can you imagine that from the time God said, God knew that all the time that he gave these people would not be enough because no one would, re would repent. How many know that God knows the hearts of people? And God knew that he would send his people in to take over the land that he had promised because the people would not fear God. Two plus two equals four. And one of the twos is fearing God. One of the first two is we have to fear God. When we know that he's going to judge the sin in our life, if we have sin in our life, he's going to judge us, meaning we will be punished yes. for it. And there's only one punishment unless you are a true Christian and he disciplines you uh, to, to help you. But most punishment means death and hell yes. in the Bible. Right. So, so it was told all this time before that the sin of the Amorites or Canaanites, it can be synonymous, uh, it hadn't yet reached. How many understand that God has patience? How many know God had patience with you? Right. That you knew you deserved right. Right. Yeah. death and hell right. for a period of time before, before you came to Christ. And are you thankful for his mercy? How many today say, I am thankful for God's mercy? She knew what 
he did to these two kings of the Amorites east of the Jordan. And what did, she, what did they do? You completely destroyed them. Look at the rest of the verse. Whom you completely, there wasn't one person left alive. There was 60 cities of, of King Og, and Israel took all the cities, Amen. took all the land, took everything. They were all slaughtered. They were all wiped out. Yes. Amen. Their gods couldn't save them. See, if you think there's any other god, then you don't fear God. If you think there's right. other gods, yeah. Well, see what happened with with Rahab was she realized that her gods were no match for this god. Right. Yes. So yes. what does she say? Verse eleven. When we heard of it, our hearts melted, and everyone's courage failed because of you. Yes. Look at this. For the Lord your God is God in heaven above right. and on the earth below. For your God, the God of the Israelites, is God in heaven above yes. and in the earth below. He's yes. God of heaven and he's God of earth. Amen. He's the only God. So she came to fear God, and she came to believe in God. Amen. She came to fear God, yes. and she came, she came to repent and turn from her other gods and put her faith in the one true God. How many understand right. that's just basic? How many understand yeah. this is no yeah. big thing? Right. This is just basic truth, isn't it? How many understand? Praise God. How many are thankful that God doesn't make it difficult? It doesn't make it confusing. You have to turn from your other gods, amen? From your life of sin, from your life of selfishness, and turn and believe in Him. Praise God, amen? And I'm just I'm just saying that 2 plus 2 is 4, and when you truly come to God, you surrender to Him. Amen. Yes. You surrender to Him and you serve Him. That's right. How many understand? How many understand that's not difficult? Right. If He's God, if He's truly God, amen? Right. Do you think that you would give Him everything? Do you think you would lay down your life for Him? How many understand? Amen. You would truly... I, I, how, many under, how many get it today? Raise your hand. Amen. I think I'm getting it. I think you... That this is just basic. Yeah. Yeah. If he's the God that does this and this and this and this, and he's the God that's going to punish sin, right? Amen? We just right. fear it. Amen? Yeah. Right. And we reverence him. We honor. Amen? And we bow before yeah. him. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. And make him our Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen? Praise God. Yeah. You know, I just yeah. like to tell people that don't want to bow to God, I fear for you. Right. I fear for what's going to happen to you. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be good right. if right. you do not surrender to God. That's right. How many understand that's just basic? Amen. You don't want God for your enemy. Right. You want God for your friend. That's right. Right. That's right. How many understand that's, that's just basic common sense? Basic yes. common sense. Amen. I don't want God for my enemy. Right. I don't want God to be my enemy. I want God to be my friend. Amen. 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 Now there's some people that you don't want them to be your enemy. Hey honey, would you stop making all that noise, please? Yeah. There's some people you don't want for your enemies. Right, right. Hey, don't worry about any of them. Right. <laughs> Amen? Right. Don't worry about them. Right? Don't worry about man. Amen. Don't worry about what people think. Amen. Don't worry about pleasing right. people. Right. Just worry about one. Yes. Just worry about Almighty God. Amen. Don't Amen. fear man. All right. That's right. No. Don't fear. No. 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 Fear the law enough to obey it. Yes. The yes. law of the land. But don't get all torn up about it. Just obey.
obey the law of the land. Amen? Right. But fear God. Fear God. Next slide, please. Next slide. Serve the Lord with fear. Right. And rejoice with trembling. Amen. Kiss the sun means when one army surrenders to another, they come and they kiss the hand of, of the other commander. Yes. Christ is the commander. Yes. He's got the winning army. Yes, he does. His army is going to win. Yeah. He, he is going to win. That's true. Yes. Kiss the sun now. Right. Praise God. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun lest he be angry and you be destroyed in your way. As you're going along doing in your rebellion, come on, everyone that doesn't surrender is in rebellion. Let me understand. And you will be destroyed. You're going doing your way doing your thing, but you don't know when God's wrath is going to flare up. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Right. Yes. Yes. See, if you don't understand this, you don't you don't have you don't know the basics. Right. You don't know the basics. Right. <laughs> we better get the basics. Amen. We got to. It it doesn't take a lot to be a hero. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. It just get getting the basics. Amen? Amen. Yes. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Amen. Rather take refuge in in him Amen. than have to come on y'all right. be destroyed right. by him we're either going to take refuge in him or be destroyed by him how many can understand that raise your hand I will either take refuge in him or be destroyed by him right. and so look what Rahab does guys this is this is not this is not college. <laughs> this is not even high school. She said, Now then, read verse 11 again. When we heard of it, our hearts melted. Right, right. People don't, listen guys, people don't fear God today. No, no. People don't fear God. That's they true. don't understand. That's true. They don't have the basics. When we heard of it, our hearts melted. And everyone's courage failed. Can you imagine? Everyone in Jericho, everyone in Canaan, their hearts failed. They had absolutely no confidence that they would survive. Right. Because they knew the sin, the sins of their city or their country were severe. Yeah. Now then, please swear to me by the Lord that you will show kindness to my family. Because I have shown kindness to you. Give me a sure sign that you will spare the lives of my father and mother, my brothers and sisters, and all who belong to them, and that you will save us from death. Amen. She came into a, she made a treaty. She came into an agreement to save her life. Amen. How many understand that's what salvation is? Yes. Coming to fear God. Coming into a relationship with Him. Based on truth. Amen. Surrendering to them. To yes. Him. Praise God. And so, we find out that her life was spared. How many understand there was just a short time here? That's right, yeah. There was a very, very short time before God's judgment was going to fall on Jericho. But look over at chapter 6. They, they were to march around Jericho six times. But on the seventh day, they were to march around seven times. And when they marched the seventh time, and they were to shout, look what happened. Verse 20, chapter 6, verse 20. When the trumpet sounded, the people shouted. Amen. The Israelites all shouted. They, that's what they were to do. 
And at the sound of the trumpet, when the people gave a loud shout, the wall collapsed. The wall was very high and very thick and very fortified. But when they shouted, the wall collapsed. Amen. So every man charged straight in and they took the city. They devoted the city to the Lord and destroyed with a sword every living thing in it, men and women, young and old, cattle, sheep, and donkeys. Joshua said to the two men who had spied out the land, go into the prostitute's house and bring her out and all who belong to her in accordance with your oath to her. So the young men who had done the spying went in and brought out Rahab, her father and mother and brothers and all who belonged to her. They brought out her entire family and put them in a place outside the camp of Israel. And, and look down at verse 25. Verse 24 says, Then they burned the whole city and everything in it. But Joshua spared Rahab and all who belonged to her because she hid the men of Joshua. Because she hid the men Joshua had sent. Because she got on board with God's purpose. Amen, that's right. She began to serve him. Serve the Lord. Look at verse. Serve the Lord. How many understand? Yes. If you truly have come over to his side, to God's side, then you serve him. Yeah. Praise God. That's right. That's right. You ser serving God is an awesome thing. Yes. Right. There's so much joy in serving God. She yes. realized that she did what no one else would do. Right. That it was to her privilege to hide these spies yes. and, and enable God's plan to be worked out. Yes. Rejoice with trembling. Be when you have so much joy in serving God and yet you never forget your fear of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But look what it says in verse 26. She lives among the Israelites to this day. So when this was written, when Joshua was written, she lived among them to that day. She lived out her life of service to God Amen. as an alien who had become a part of the Jews. She lived in the fear of God. Amen. Praise God. So we see that she's the only one. She did save her family. We don't know if they actually made it to heaven, but we know that she did. Amen. But we, we, we understand how absolutely foolish everyone else was. Everyone else in Jericho. How many of you, when, when you understand the fear of God, when you feel guilt, when you have fear of God, and then you don't act on it. So everyone in Jericho had such fear of God, their hearts were failing them. They were shaking in fear, but nobody acted. Wow, wow. So what did the king of Jericho do? Look at chapter 6 of Joshua. Now Jericho was tightly shut up because of the Israelites. So the king reinforces the wall, the doorways, and then closes it, and no one can come in and no one can go out. And he foolishly thinks that nobody can take down his city wow. because the walls are impregnable. You understand he didn't really fear God. His, his fear didn't prompt him to do what he should do. God had sent great conviction on all these people. It, it said, I know the Lord has given this land to you because a great fear of God had fallen on all the people of the land. They were shaken in their boots. And yet they feel that they're stronger than God. So they reinforced the walls. I don't know what all he did, but he went in and hid. But look at 
at chapter 6, verse 2. Here he's feeling that he can be saved from all this. But look at verse 2. Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands, Amen. along with its king and its fighting men. Wow. And wow. everything in Jericho was destroyed. Wow. Right. Right. Yes, that's right. While they, their fear of God Amen. was not enough. If you, if you don't have enough fear of God, you don't get the basics. That's right. That's right. You have to have enough fear of God to turn away from your rebellion, yes. from your yeah. sin. Right. If you don't have that fear of God, guys, you won't make it. Right, right. You literally won't even, you won't even graduate first grade. Right. If you do not have true fear of God right. and then act on that fear. See, see they didn't believe that the the Israelites could actually get across the river because there was no bridge. It was up deep and it was wide and it was flood stage. Yeah. It's flood stage all through harvest. Yeah. And so here they are on the other side of the river and there's no way for them to get across. And so then the king is more confident that, that he's going to hold out and be saved. Right. But he, he, he didn't, evidently didn't know about the Red Sea. <laughs> right. Because the same God who divided the Red Sea could divide the Jordan. Right. And yes, he did. Yes. yes, he did. And they lined up and the priests came out first carrying the Ark yes. of the Covenant. And all they did was touch their toe yeah. on the edge of the water and it split. Amen. And it, and it, went, Amen. it went back upstream. In a heap. Yes. How can water be in a heap? <laughs> How can water be piled up and stay in a pile? <laughs> but that's what the Bible says. I didn't read it all. It's right there. Oh my God. But the water stayed yes, yes. piled up. Yes, yes. <laughs> and every one of these million plus right. went across on dry ground. Wow, wow. And when the priests, when everyone got through, the priests went back and they picked up 12 stones from the middle of the river. And they carried them out. And they built an altar to God, proving to all generations forever and ever that God opened the way again, the Jordan River, so that the whole nation could be saved, praise God, Amen. and go in and take the promised land. Yes. I'm glad Amen. I've got one person liking it down here. <laughs> look, look at chapter 4, verse 23. Yes. Chapter 4, verse 23. For the Lord your God dried up the Jordan before you until you had crossed over. How, how could it be dry when it was just soaking wet? Wow. How could the sand be totally dry? Right. No mud. Wow. wow. How many think you ought to fear God? Amen. Just what he had done to the Red Sea, just the same thing he did 40 years before. When he dried it up before us until we had crossed over. And Joshua was one of those. Joshua went through the Red Sea on yes. dry ground and then he went through the Jordan wow. on dry ground. Amen. Amen. Wow. And I think Joshua must have written this because he says us. Yes. Look at this, verse 24. He did this so that all the peoples of the earth might know that the hand of the Lord is powerful and so that you might always fear the Lord your God. Praise God. Read, read verse 24 with me. He did this. Read it verse 24. He did this so that all the peoples of the earth might know that the hand of the Lord is powerful and so that you might always Fear the Lord your God. Praise Amen. God. Yes. See, I believe, I believe that Rahab surrendered 
and walked in the fear of God the rest of her life. Praise God. How many understand you can never, never not fear God? If you do not fear God, you're a fool. If you ever stop fearing God, you're a fool. How many understand? The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You have no wisdom if you do not fear God. You have no wisdom if you do not fear God. The Bible says the, be the fear of the Lord is the beginning. Amen. That's the starting point. Yes. I wonder why there's messes in your life. <laughs> because you're not starting at the starting point. Right. Starting point is to fear God. Yes. Reverence God. Praise God. He did this so that all the people, so that all of us, he did this yes. so that all of us might know that the hand of the Lord is powerful. Mm -hmm. And so that you might always fear the Lord. See, see, God doesn't just want us to fear him so that we get right with him and walk with him. He wants us to fear him so that we can see the miracles that he wants to work in our lives. Right, right. The impossible, impossibilities that he wants to make possible. Yes, yes. That's right. God wants to show himself mighty in my life. He wants to do the impossible in my life, in your life. Yes. Praise God. Yes. He wants to show his power. Amen, amen. In our yes. hearts, in our homes, in our situation. Yes. Things that the devil amen. has done or that we did in our life of sin. Amen. He wants to turn things around. Yes, he does. Praise oh. God. Yes. So that we're not living in defeat and de discouragement all the time. Right. But that we know God is working. Yes. We know God is our God. Amen. Right. The Lord is our God. Amen. Yes. And He fights our battles. Yes. And He takes us through these seas. Yes. He takes us through the impossible yes. things. Yes. How in the world are we going to get to heaven? Right. How are we going to get through all the stuff we have to go through? Yes. Between yes. now and, and when it's over. Right. The devil has every plan in place. Right. To take our life, to destroy us, to steal, to kill, and destroy. And your God is able. God is able to get us all the way through to the end. Because he's, he's a miracle working God. And I, and I want his miracles working for me, not against me. I don't want to be in a rebellion to God. Come on, I don't want to give God any ultimatum. I don't want to drag around and getting right with God. Right, right, right. I don't want to go on in my sin. I don't want to go in my impenitence, refusing to repent. That's right, right. Because right. I'm pushing. I'm putting God to the test. Yeah, amen. Listen, how long, God, will you let me live without me getting right? Right, right, right. How long? Amen. I'm just going to keep doing what I want to do. Keep living the way I want to live, and I, I think God will spare me. I think God will spare me. See, how many understand that? We better be careful. We better not delay any obedience. See, we understood who He was. We wouldn't slack. We wouldn't drag around. Right. Come on. Right. We would. Be at our best for God. You know, you don't fear when you're not at your best for Him. Right, that's true, that's true. Come on, y'all. Wow. When wow. He's not first. Wow. When serving Him is not that important. Right. Come on, y'all. Right. I understand. I get to the house of God whenever I get good and ready. Right. And I get there whenever I get ready to get there. Right. Come on, y'all. See, I, I make my decisions. Right. Based on what I want to do. You don't fear God enough. Right, right, right. If you fear, fear God. And I, I have to.
to get ready for Sunday on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Saturday better be just right. Because I don't want Saturday to hurt Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm going to the house of the Lord. Amen. And I'm going to pray. Yeah. And I'm going to be there at 9.30. Yeah. And I'm going to join the believers for prayer. Amen. And I'm going to study the Bible. Amen. Amen. I mean, understand that if we fear God, right, right. we don't have to fear anything else. Right. Anyone or anything. If we don't really fear God, guys, we're not. Right. How many understand? It's not going to work out. Right. How many understand that? Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I go to work, I go on time. Mm -hmm. I'm faithful to my job. When my family says, do this, do this, I do it. Huh, all right. But when it comes to church, wow. when it comes to service, wow. serve the Lord with fear. Right, right. Serve Him reverently. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Thank God for His word. Amen. Yes. Guys, something, something happened to me, and fear came over me Friday, Friday evening. And I felt the warning that I have to operate a certain way about a certain thing in my life. And God brought such conviction over me. I fear not obeying Him. Amen, amen, amen. How many know we should fear the Lord now? Yes, yes. How many understand we should fear Him now? Yes. Fear Him. Yes. Fear Him while we're still yes. able. Yes, yes, yes. And the fear should lead to obedience. Yes. And there's something in my life I have to work out, and it's not easy. Right. But I have to do it. Right. I don't have an option. Right. Because I want to serve God. Right. Right. Amen. 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 I, I want his, work, his miracles to work in my behalf. Yes. Not yes. against me. Yes. Yes. I don't want God against me. Right. I don't want God against me. No. No. I don't want God's word against me. Right, right. I want God to be for me. Yes, amen. If God is for me, who amen. can be against me? Who right. does it matter? Who is against me? I want God to be for me. Amen. I want God to be with me. Amen. I want God to be on me. Yes. I want God to be before me. Yes. I want God beside me. Amen. I want God in my life.
she saw the obvious. Yes. And she acted. Yes. Praise God. Yes. yes. Praise God. Right. Praise God. Praise God. That's right. That's right. Praise God. That's people, right. I see so many people come to Christ. Yes. And I see so few people stay. Right. And right. so few put God. Right. Make him God and right. Lord. Absolutely. Yes. Bow before him. God, my life is in your hands. Yes. Yes. Do whatever you want to yes. do with me. Yes. Whatever you say. Right. I say your will yes. be done. Not my will. But your yes. will. Right. God wants to right. do something in your life. Yes. God yes. wants to do amazing. Yes. He wants to yes. do over yes. and above. Yes. What you can even ask or imagine. Right. Right. But you have to get the yes. basics. Yes. You have to get the basics. Yes. And, and you have to pursue Him. Right. You have to serve the Lord. That's right. With fear. Amen. That's right. There's that no time. Should you feel comfortable right. going back to your old life? Right. right. At no time should you go back to your sin. Right. Go back to the worldly things yes. that you gave up. Yes. You're not serving God with fear. Right. Right. If you go pick up the things of the world. Right. And right. continue doing the yes. sin yes. that he saved you from. Yes. Yes. You're not serving God with fear. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're not getting the basics. Right. Right. If you're not all out right. to serve God. Yes. Well, you can. That's right. See, we have to yes. perform works yes. in this life yes. that flow out of salvation. That's right. If you're truly saved, you'll truly serve. I mean, I said, if you have true faith, you'll yes. truly serve God. That's right. That's right. You'll truly obey God. That's right. And we will be judged on those works. That's right. That's we will right. have to stand before God. That's right. And this is the only time we have to serve. Yes. yes. And then time's up. Right. Right. And you'll so wish. Yes. You will so wish. I wish I had served God. Yes. I wish I had yes. continued in right. my relationship with God. Right. Right. And I wish I had served. I wish I had truly made him Lord. Amen. I wish right, right, right. that I had saved souls. Yes. I wish yes. that I yes. sought first the kingdom yes. of God. You just don't understand when it's too late right. what you will wish. Right, right. You will wish that you were all out for God. Right, oh. right, right. See, Rahab really is a hero, isn't she? Yes. Because she's. She put her own life at stake right, right. by hiding right. the spies right. and by saying no to those gods. And do you know that when the fall wall collapsed, her house didn't? Right. Her house was in the wall, and the whole wall collapsed into a pile of rocks. Yes. But her house in the wall stood standing. And they came and got her and her family out of the I mean, no, it's real. Yes, it is. God, God's word is true. Yes, it is. That's he will right. save those who are saved. That's Amen. Right. That's right. He will that's truly right. save those who walk Amen. in their salvation. Do you yes. understand what that's going to be like? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. To realize that you, you made it? Can you imagine yes. what that will be like? That's right. That's right. Whoa. Survive. I survived the life, yes. the dangers, the devil, the flesh, the world. Right. And I made it. How many, yes. how many see? It's worth everything. Amen. Worth everything. Right. How many believe? Right. Stand up if you believe it's worth everything. Amen. Stand up. If you believe it's worth everything. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. It's not. It's worth it to not miss the basics. Say, Lord, I'm, maybe, you're, maybe you know you're not right with God right now. Or maybe you know that you're in danger because you haven't walked in full obedience to Him. You haven't really begun to serve Him. How many understand God is here? 
Yes. Holy Spirit is here and he's dealing with our hearts. Yes, he is. He's dealing with our hearts. Yes. So we, we don't know the danger. We're, we're all in danger. How many understand every one of us in, is in danger? Right. Amen. Every one of us is in danger. Yes. That's right. That's right. God, we praise you. God, we need you. We praise you, Jesus. We need your Holy Spirit. We thank you. Lord, you thank you. Us. Oh, God. God, this is not what you hear out there. You have to go into a house of the Lord where the word is preached. And it's a, it's a great benefit to our soul to be warned. That's right. 